today I am prepping some cut comb frames. This is something I have seen on Gus Mitchell's channel. Uh, Mike Palmer has talked about it. I've seen it in one of his seminars. This is something I've adopted in my practices. It works, it's easy, fun, and it's something you can do too. Watch and I hope you enjoy the video. So this is my uh, setup for installing the foundation into the cut comb frames. These are the frames I'm using. I got these from Skipper Luttrell. I had seen him on uh, Gus Mitchell's video and uh, I'll leave an email below if you're interested in purchasing these frames. These are very well made frames. Uh, they fit together perfectly. He was able to ship them to me here in Canada with no issues. Uh, I like them a lot better than what I've used in the past. So before I cut down my own medium frames to a cut comb uh, depth uh, to fit inch up, to fit a four inch uh, square perfectly. It's a lot of work for what these cost. It's not worth it. You can see he's got a thin top bar uh, with a groove here that the foundation sits in and you pour hot wax. Uh, there are so many methods in doing this. I've chosen to adopt this because it's pretty cool. It's a double boiler. Um, it's got an insulated uh, portion on the inside and it's, and it's water jacketed. You put water in here and uh, it boils, it melts the wax super quickly. I'd be careful about the handle. This is made in China. You can get it off Alibaba or AliExpress. Um, it comes when it comes. You know how shipping works in that case. But I like it. I've used a turkey baster in the past. I've used so many different things. Uh, so that's not that hard. Uh, my frame setup. Uh, this is a uh, uh, something I found out on YouTube. Uh, uh, the beekeeper Palmer um, came up with this where the frame rests, the frame sits in here. And then when you put the piece of wax foundation in, it sits perfectly in the groove, centered to the um, top bar. So when you take it out, this is sitting perfectly flat in the center of the frame. Um, so all I'm doing here is taking the straight edge, putting it in that groove, and it sits perfectly like that. So it's pretty cool. This makes your life a little easier uh, if you're doing multiple, uh, three at a time. Uh, just pop that in there. I don't know, this is what I found that works best for me. I like making cut comb honey. It's a niche in my market that there aren't a lot of people doing it the proper way. Uh, I think a big difference between the proper way and incorrect way, well, there's a many ways, but the nicest cut comb honey has the uh, normal size cells or versus, you know, you could put this frame directly in with no foundation. You'll have drone size cells in there. It won't be as pretty. Uh, it'll still be cut comb, um, but this is a nice way of doing it where you have nice uniform cappings on the uh, cut comb and it presents really nicely to your customers who want to know that you put the time into making the best product you can. So this is how I do it. Now I'll walk you through how I wax everything. So what seems to work for me is to use this jig, tilt it to an angle and then pour the melted wax into the groove so that it runs down. Now, I'm making a mess, so if you have a workstation where you could have like a piece of wet cardboard underneath you to kind of pick up those, uh, the excess hot wax. I have a bit of parchment paper on my workstation here. Seems to be working okay. So just tilting it, look at that. Ah. 
then you can see it kind of hardens. Look at that. Then that's a welded piece of wax in there. Isn't that a something of beauty, eh? Look at that. I want to show you why I like um, Skipper Luttrell's uh, craftsmanship and setup. Do you see how perfectly and how little wax it takes to weld in these uh, top bars here? Like there isn't that much if you could see. So you're not really using that much wax in the whole dipping process. Uh, the groove is perfectly cut in there. So this piece of foundation didn't take too well, so I had to rip it out. But I think this gives you a pretty cool perspective of his craftsmanship and how well the this foundation sits in uh, Skipper Luttrell's frames. Pour in here, this is an awkward angle, I hope you can see. Pour, 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 pour. It runs down, bam, done. Here. Pour, pour, pour. Ooh, hot wax on the finger, nothing like it. This one wasn't in at first. Now I've put it in. You're going to make a mistake in the event you do they make this little nifty tool never used it so let me film myself using it for the first time you're going to put it in the groove i assume and just walk it back wow that actually does quite a good job wow Well, have a look at that. The right tool for the job, right? <laughs>